While Pastor Thompson was preparing for his sermon, Mr. Davis, one of the elders, walked into his office to give him a message. Good morning, Pastor Thompson. Sorry to interrupt you, but it has been brought to my attention that Mr. Collins, who's a wealthy businessman, will be attending this morning service, and it would be great if we could give him a special welcome. It would benefit the church a lot. We should also sit him on the front row as our guest of honor. Thank you for letting me know, Elder Davis. I will make sure the ushers greet him properly. I will also meet with him after service privately in my office. I also noticed Johnny the homeless man hanging around and he's planning on coming too. I believe security should keep an eye on him. Elder Davis, everyone is welcome in the house of the Lord, but thanks for letting me know. During this sermon, Pastor Thompson feels convicted from the words of James 2 verses 1 through 4 and decides to talk to the congregation about favoritism and how it leads to prejudice. During this sermon, Pastor Thompson feels convicted by the words of James 2 1 through 4 and decided to address the congregation about showing favoritism. Pastor Thompson stands at the pulpit beginning his sermon. He noticed Mr. Collins at the front and Mr. John at the back, the homeless guy. During his sermon, Pastor Thompson feels convicted from the words of James 2 verses 1 through 4 and decides to talk to the congregation about favoritism and how it leads to prejudice. Today, I plan to preach on a different topic, but I feel led to teach from James chapter 2 verses 1 through 4. My brothers and sisters, believers in our glorious Lord Jesus Christ, must not show favoritism. Suppose a man comes into your meeting wearing a gold ring and fine clothes, and a poor man in filthy old clothes also come in. If you show special attention to the man wearing fine clothes and say, here's a good seat for you, but say to the poor man, you stand there or sit on the floor by my feet. Have you not discriminated among yourselves and become judges with evil thoughts? The congregation listened quietly, focused and tuned in on the pastor's every word. Today we welcome Mr. Collins with love and respect. We must welcome Mr. John the same way, because we're all equal in God's eyes. Thank you, Pastor. I am glad to be here. Sir, can you please remain seated in that back seat and do not move to the front? Those seats are reserved for special guests only. Thank you, ma'am. I will remain sitting here on the back row. During this sermon, Pastor Thompson feels convicted by the words of James 2, 1 through 4, and decided to address the congregation about showing favoritism. Pastor Thompson stands at the pulpit, beginning his sermon. He noticed Mr. Collins at the front and Mr. John at the back, the homeless guy. Mr. John, I apologize to you for earlier service. Please sit down for coffee and fellowship with us. We want to get to know you better. Thank you, Pastor and everyone here for your warm, welcoming fellowship. Now this is how it should be, sisters and brothers in the Lord, fellowshipping in love, unity and peace. Loving each other and not judging each other. Quote, The church learned an important lesson about love and equality. And Mr. Collins, 
and Mr. John, the homeless guy, became very valuable members of the congregation. Thank you.